Hi guys, I'm Julie Beeler. Let's talk about Sunday's NFL wildcard playoff games. We'll start with game one as the Falcons head north to New York and take on the NFC East champion Giants. Now, we have two divergent worlds here. First, the Giants are setting an NFL record for playoff berths, the most in NFL history. Meanwhile, the Falcons are only experiencing their franchise's first jaunt in back-to-back -back years to the postseason. So what gives? Well, rather than focus on the quarterbacks, Matt Ryan and Eli Manning, as most people probably will, let's take a look at the defenses. The Falcons actually give up fewer points and fewer rush yards than the Giants do. And the Falcons are third in the NFL in giving up the fewest big running plays as of any team. Meanwhile, the Giants have given up twice as many big running plays as the Falcons have. What does all that mean? Well, not only does the Giants' magic come to an end as they had plenty of playoff-like games coming into the end of the season, but also the Falcons' attack is too much for the Giants' defense, and the Falcons end up with the victory. Moving on to the AFC game as the Steelers go into Denver and take on Tim Tebow and the Broncos. And again, rather than focusing on the gimpy ankle of Ben Roethlisberger and the meteoric rise of Tim Tebow, let's look at these defenses here. My big question mark going into this game is whether or not Von Miller can regain his midseason form. That hand injury has certainly hampered the guy's production and it's noticed. it's been noticed on the field. But if Von Miller and that defense can perform the way they did against Kansas City, Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers will be going home. If Von Miller and Elvis Dumerville cannot get through and can't get to Ben Roethlisberger, the only Tebow time will be spent on the golf course. But ultimately, I do think the Broncos pull this one off. I think they end up advancing. And next, we'll talk about who wins the divisional rounds and ultimately, who ends up hoisting the Lombardi in Indianapolis. Glad you could watch. I'm Julie Beeler.